how y'all doing? Good evening. Uh, I just want to give an encouraging word <clears throat> to someone right now. Um, the Bible says in, 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 in Romans chapter 3 that we have all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. In the Old Testament, Solomon said, if God was to keep account of all of our sins, no, not one of us will be able to stand. None of us will be able to stand before God if God held, a, held an account of all of our wrongdoings and transgressions. So with that in mind, we need to stay humble. And I give this as encouragement to, to whomever. Um, I had a vision the other day and I was just driving and I saw a dartboard, a dartboard. And I saw someone throw a dart trying to hit the red dot in the middle, which is the bullseye is the target which is the target um and then after I, they, they missed the target and it hit somewhere else on the dartboard and i saw the blood of jesus cover the entire dartboard and it was symbolic of what jesus does for us his blood covers our sins his blood covers our sins the word sin is harmatia harmatia in the greek it it, it means um it had to actually do with archery. Part of it had to do with archery. Um, and even in other ways it was used, harmatia, um, I get back to archery, um, had to do with human flaws, or a person's flaw, a personal flaw, or error to go astray, to go astray or error. Um, but in archery, they would have arrows, and I'm gonna get to the arrow in a minute. We get to the arrow. The arrow, purpose of the arrow is to hit the bullseye, that red dot in the middle of the, the dart or the target. And if you missed the, the, the bullseye, the red part in the middle, it was hamartia. It was called sin. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes we we do strive to hit the, hit the mark. You know, I'm not talking to people that just willfully, intentionally throwing darts, trying to intentionally miss the dart, miss the bullseye. This is not for you. But if your intention is to please God, and you miss it, it's, we're, we're covered in the blood. And so I want to dig a little deeper. The word Torah, T-O-R-A-Y, I mean T-O-R-A-H is the word we get the word law, the law, the law of God, the law, of, not just the law of Moses, the law of God, God's law. It means instructions. It means teaching or instructions. It's connected to another word. It is, uh, that is really called to instruct or teach. And, it, and it's connected, and it, I believe it's, don't quote me on it, it's Yara, I believe. Um, it's very similar to, to Torah. And the purpose of the word teach or instruction, it was similar to an arrow. When teachers or leaders in the Old Testament gave instructions or taught, there, it was similar to an arrow. And the purpose of the arrow or the instructions was to get their students to hit the target. And so, in God's instructions and moral standard for our life is to hit, his, hit the target, meaning to accomplish, to accomplish that which God gave us the instructions. And so sometimes we miss the mark. God gives us instructions to live this life, to live a holy life, to live a godly life, to live a life separated from him, to live um, from submitting to temptation and so forth and all those things. And we may miss the mark. But some of us get so caught up in missing the mark that we have forgotten that the blood of Jesus has us covered. Let me say that, let me say the vision again. The vision was a dartboard. Somebody threw a dart trying to hit the bullseye and hit another part that didn't hit the bullseye on the dartboard. And I literally saw the blood of Jesus cover the, cover the entire dartboard. This is God's grace and this is God's mercy. And some of us are so caught up in missing the mark or we messed up when God gave us instructions to turn left, we went right. We, when God told us to go up, we went north, we went south. When, when God told us to do this, we did the opposite. God has us covered. The word atonement in the Old Testament meant to cover. The lamb, the purpose of the blood, blood being shed, God says, I make atonement. It was called atonement. The, the day of atonement was when they sprinkled the blood on the on the mercy seat on the altar the people God's wrath will be pleased and the people will be covered atonement what atonement means the word atone in the um, Greek if you translate from Hebrew to the Greek is the word reconcile it's the word reconcile to 
reconcile was a Greek word that meant two enemies that were no longer enemies and they became friends and, and their relationship was a peace and they were reconciled and now, now they had peace. So through the blood of Jesus, sin makes us enemies, but through the blood of Jesus, when we sin and we, because we have sin, but even though we have sin, the blood of Jesus covers us, atones for our sin, covers our sin, and, and no, watch this, we're no longer enemies to God. We're no longer enemies to God. We're his friend. We're reconciled. We have peace with God. And so there's no more chaos. Um, and we can be covered. And when you cover something, you don't see it. So God was saying, my blood, I'll see my blood instead of your sin. Amen. And so let us keep this in mind. We have all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. And when we mess up, let's not focus on missing the mark. Let's try better. Let's do better. But let's always have in mind, okay, God, you give me your word, give me your stand. I'm going to always strive for the mark. But if I miss the mark, don't keep condemning yourself because you missed it. Know that you're covered by the blood of Jesus. Amen. God loves you. God bless you. Y'all have a beautiful day. Um, in Jesus' name, amen.